Hey, it's Don W6GPS, and uh, we're going to do a series of uh, fixing up your THD74. Now, the D74 came out in, nine, in 2016, and so we've got some out there, we've got some use on them. And we're just going to tell you how to, how to spiff your uh, HT up. Anyway, so you can see right here, this was... They call this the front glass is scratched up pretty bad and I'm going to show you how to change that so uh, first thing you want to do of course is take the battery off I've already taken this there's two screws you take off right here uh, I pulled the knob off the knob off and um, both the volume and the encoder knob so next thing you got to do is take a I use a pair of hemostats and loosen up the uh, encoder. I don't know what you call that thing, but it's like a, a threaded washer. So you want to take that off. And right here is the antenna connector. And I've got these uh, curved curved hemostats here that I use to undo this and once it's loosened you can take a little small screwdriver just spin it around you can use a pair of curved fine needle nose pliers to work so you got that off. Okay, it's real important that you take the SD card out and then this uh, um, water sealing grommet here. I'll just take my little screwdriver and what you have to do is you have to pull this little tab up right here. Pull that up and kind of push it out. Anyway, it can be a little, there you go. So you got that all pulled out right there. Okay, then what you want to do next <clears throat> is take off the top cover. And there's a water seal there. There's a GPS engine. Now sometimes this little grommet will stick on there. Just pull that off. All right, so then the next thing you want to do is carefully pull out from the bottom the uh, radio chassis. Be real, real careful that you don't just yank it apart because there's a ribbon cable. So when you pull it out, turn it over just like that and there's a ribbon cable right there. Now, this is where you're going to mess things up, so please pay attention. Right here is a um, it's a ribbon uh, mount, um, ribbon cable connector, and you can see how the um, there's this blue line here that that goes up. Well, anyway, I would use my fingernail, but what you do is you carefully pull that little white thing up. Excuse me, the white connector. There's a little brown. Uh, there's a little brown sealer right there. Be real careful that you don't yank that thing back. Okay. So here we have the we have a, um, the front case, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to change what they call the uh, the glass, the front glass. So I got me a got me a little heat gun here. Let me get it all fired up. Now you can use a hair dryer. I've got a heat gun, so you be real careful. What you want to do is, a lot of these adhes a lot of these things use uh, temperature adhesive on it. So what you want to do is warm it up just a little bit. And this is this is just going to be changing the front glass out. Just warm it up a little bit. That's all you got to do. And yeah, you know, we're going to discard this. But what happens is is that it will help the glue to loosen up. And it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. 
and once you pull this off it's it's really no good so so now we got the front off now there's there is some uh, some of the leftover uh, um, adhesive uh, uh, sticky tape or adhesive uh, foam um, sheet is what they call that what you need to do is you need to clean that you need to clean that off real good so um, you can again heat it up just a little bit remember don't overheat it and then we're going to clean we're going to clean all the gunk out of there we'll kind of speed things up here be real careful because right up here right up here is a Bluetooth antenna so be real careful when you're cleaning this off okay we got we got all the gunk off and what we're going to do is take some a q-tip with some alcohol that I put on here what I'm going to do is just get that all nice and clean we want to get that all clean make sure that that's all dried out okay so we'll let that we'll let that dry out okay now listen everybody you're doing this on your own I'm trying to help you out here, so take heed to what I say. This is only one time. You can only use this one time. And this little part's only 12 bucks, and you can get it from PackParts, uh, packparts.com, uh, the part number. I'll show the part number here. And uh, it's only 12 bucks. Um, you know, they charge maybe 6 or $7 to send a 12 buck part. So if you've got other things that you need, uh, I'd go ahead and buy a couple extra things maybe a couple extra of these things but it has it has a protective coat on the top and you don't want to take that off till you're completed and then there is a uh, a sticky protector right here that's kind of slick and this is that this has got that really fancy adhesive uh, foam cushion stuff it's not even a, a millimeter thick so it is extremely important that you guide this in the right spot because once you once you uh, put it on there uh, as Sean Connery says there's no turning back there's no turning back so what I would do is I would just pull a little bit up here just so that you can you can see um, you know where the edges are make sure you don't put put your fingers on there at all okay so you want to guide it right there guide it right there and gently push it up and it, it only it, it will lock in there okay now once it's on keep that coating still back on there push that down keep that coating on there and uh, keep your fingers away from there and basically it's all ready to go okay now um, I guess I forgot to tell you make sure your hands are clean so now we're gonna reassemble that now remember this this little this little ribbon uh, socket right here it's very very fragile in this there's a little brown uh, connector is actually a kind of a lock for the cable so very carefully put it in I know I got fat fingers here it's not rocket science but you do have to be very very careful with these connectors now if you look real carefully right here there's a line on the circuit board and that's just to help that's to help you make sure that you have this even all the way in 
and you push this compression thing down right here. Real, real easy, but be very careful. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, put it back together. So just flipping it around here. Flipping it around. And got to be careful with this rubberized seal. There's a rubber seal right here. So what I would do is gently push it in. Let me pull this back just a little bit. And as you're pushing this in gently, kind of open this up right here. Kind of puts a, open this up here because you don't want to do like what happened right here. Like what would happen right here? See how that's mushed up? So you want to gently push it in, maybe hold it down, pull it up just a little bit. There you go. It's real important that you check that. Make sure that it looks like it's sealed, but it hasn't rolled over. Okay, once you do that, you go ahead and put the uh, encoder cover back on, or the uh, GPS cover back on. Make sure that the grommet's in there. Goes in there like so. I like putting the encoder in, the encoder uh, threaded washer, whatever it's called. I just finger tied it right now. Go ahead and put the, uh, the connector for the antenna. Go ahead and just do that finger tight for right now. And go ahead and put the screws in. Now when you put these screws in, make sure you don't cross thread the um, as it goes in. Okay, so check everything. Remember to check the sides there. Got the screw in. Got my, uh, got my uh, top wa threaded washers. Uh, got those all secured. Uh, go ahead and put the uh, volume control knob on first and you may have to Turn it all the way uh, counterclockwise, and that's where the red line should go. You can put it 180 degrees out of phase, so make sure you got the red line there with the volume all the way turned down. Um, make sure you put it on the right way, which I did not. So it's going to look like it's going to look like that. Don't turn it upside down like that, but you want to turn it right side up like that. Old Don can make mistakes too. Then put the volume control on. It does have a little groove in here. So make sure that that fits like so. And last but not least, the, the seal. And this you have to kind of kind of push, get you a, a pointy toothpick will work. And you bring that up. Make sure it's in there real good. Have to push all that stuff in. All right, and then it goes over just like that. So there you go, and you know, if you want to. So now what you want to do is go ahead and take that off. And there you go. A nice new screen compared to kind of compared to that right there. Nice and new. So that's it. Uh, I have links uh, in the description. If you need any uh, other help, you can email me w6gps at yahoo.com.